Ladies and gentlemen of the media, we're joined right now in the main interview room by student athletes from Murray State. We have John Morant joining us, as well as Shaq Buchanan. Their teammates are available right now in the Murray State Racers locker room. They will be for the next 30 minutes. We'll have Ja and Shaq join us for the next several minutes, then they'll head back to the locker room. And we'll have the head coach, Matt McMahon, join us down here as well. Just a couple of quick reminders. If you need satellite information, get it from the gentleman from Hammond Communications in the middle of the room. Please remember, no flash photography, no cell phones, and no recording of any video of any kind for social media. You can't go live in this room. You can't post a social from this room. You can't shoot any video of any kind. With that in mind... Let's take questions for Ja and for Shaq. If you have a question, raise your hand. We'll send one of the microphone stewards in your direction, and we'll get that question and answer. Please remember your name and media outlet before your question. First question for student-athletes from Murray State. Raise your hand. Right on the aisle. Let's get things started. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, welcome to Harvard. Uh, I was wondering, uh, from both your perspectives, uh, we know on, on when they're on defense and you're on offense, they're going to be focusing a lot of attention on Ja. Um, what kind of game plan are you expecting from them, and how are you going to beat it? Let's ask Shaq to take that first, and Ja can give his thoughts after that. Uh, this whole year, we've uh, seen a whole bunch of different defense for um, Ja, and we prepare for it. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to play from film, they play solid man defense, so I don't expect nothing different, and we've been uh, preparing for it the whole, um, the whole week. Um, like Shaq said, um, all year we've been seeing um, different types of defensive schemes um, against me, and um, we watch film, and they played a lot of man, so that's what we prepare for, and also just go through some other stuff, like if they go zone or anything, so. Continuing with questions for the student athletes from Murray State, let's go all the way to the front just to the right of the aisle. Remember, name and media outlet for the benefit of our televised audience and the student athletes. Uh, ben Steele, Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Shaq, I'm sure you guys are gonna alternate a, a defensive assignments on Marcus Howard after studying for him for a few days. What are you gonna try to key in on uh, defensively? Uh, I know he's a um, very great player on offense, had different uh, moves. Uh, I just studied a lot of film on him and I'm setting the challenge to guard uh, Marcus Howard. Next question for the student athletes from Murray State. In the back on the right side, we're going to use the right hand microphone for Ralph. Ralph Russo, AP. Uh, jumping off on Garden Marcus Howard, um, you're right. I'm sure it'll be multiple assignments. How much do you think you might get a chance at Garden Marcus, Ja? Um, me and Shaq both um, have the assignment on Marcus Howard. And we both been studying a lot of film on him. Um, he's a great scorer, and we both ready to take on the challenge. Center of the room, all the way in the back. Mike Abelson, New Hampshire Union leader. Um, for both you guys, Ja and Shaq, um, Murray State has a lot of has a long history of success here in the NCAA tournament and um, in the OVC. How much does, does that motivate you to put another banner up there in the rafters? We'll ask Shaq to take that first, then Ja. Uh, it's been a goal of ours. Um, we uh, we know the type of tradition on Mary Holes, and they were one of our reasons that we came here uh, to leave our legacy, and we have a chance to do that with the team we have this year. Child, go ahead. Um, like you said, Murray has a great tra tradition, and um, this was our goal since June when we first um, stepped on campus with the team we have now, and we put a lot of time and hard work into this, and um, just to hang another banner feels good. Right side of the room toward the back, Nicole. Nicole Auerbach, The Athletic. Ja, I know you've got a huge uh, cheering section and family that come to every game. How many people are you expecting, and just what has that level of support meant to you throughout the season? Um, as of right now, I have like 15 coming. <laughs> but um, I know most people don't get the support um, from families. Uh, sometimes their families can't make it in, and um, just for me being nine hours from Murray State and uh, probably farther uh, from here, um, just to have my family come, it's, it just feels good, and um, I just appreciate them. Next question. Let's stay on the right side, then we'll come down toward the front. Uh, Tom Shad with USA Today. Ja, your national profile has really risen here this year. I'm, I'm curious kind of how you've tried to deal with that 
and just what you think about all the extra attention you're getting, you know, the magazine articles, ESPN, all that stuff. What's that been like? Um, it's something that I'm, I'm not used to um, coming from being under the radar, but um, my coaches, my teammates uh, really helped me with it. They haven't looked at me any different since um, I guess my name started to get out there and my parents. Um, so I give most of the credit to them for uh, keeping me level headed. Down in the front, just to the right. Uh, ben Steele, Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Ja, uh, you started generating a lot of buzz at the Chris Paul camp in the summer. Uh, what do you remember about that experience? And I know Marcus Howard was there. Did you get to interact with him at all during that experience? Um, actually, uh, Marcus was the first person I talked to. We had a little meeting um, that night when we got there. And um, I was sitting at the table with him and had some conversations with him. And um, the experience was great. Just being there with Chris Paul and some other NBA players just to learn some things from them. Um, it was good. Continuing with questions for the racer student athletes. If you have a question, raise your hand. Just to the left of the aisle, toward the back. Uh, Greg Joyce from the New York Post. Judd, just coming from a lightly recruited as you were to, to on this stage now, what have you thought of the whole journey to get here and what that's been like for you? Uh, I say it's been rough. Um, like you said, coming from um, being overlooked um, in high school and um, not receiving that much attention, it was times um, I questioned myself. Was I good enough? And now it's just my hard work is paying off and it feels good. We have time for a couple more questions. Let's go to the left side toward the front. Uh, <clears throat> Michelle Steele from ESPN. Ja, I wanted to follow up on the Chris Paul camp question. Um, what were your impressions uh, of Marcus Howard at that time? And I know he's been injured a little bit lately. In February, he got injured. What do you expect from him tomorrow? So two questions there. What do you uh, expect from him tomorrow? And what were your impressions from him from that camp? Um, I expect a lot from uh, Marcus tomorrow. Um, he had a couple 50-point games this year. Um, he's a great scorer, and um, we just try to go out and just play our defense and try to contain him. And um, I seen that at the Chris Paul camp when we uh, got up and down a little bit. He was able to uh, score the ball very well. So. Let's go back to the back of the room in the center. Um, Shaq, Mike Abelson, New Hampshire Union leader. Shaq, the, the OVC was so good this year. You know, of course, Belmont getting the win last night. Uh, how much did that, the grinding through uh, the league, especially this year, help get you guys ready for tomorrow? Uh, we had, I say, uh, probably one of the toughest league, even though we were a mid major. Uh, it was just hard uh, playing them teams back uh, twice a year and. Had to change uh, offense or your defense you got to go through. And though we did, uh, it was tough, but we grinded it out. Center of the room to the right of the aisle. Uh, Ed Marlowe, Paducah Sun. Hey, guys. Um, real quick, um, can you guys talk a little bit about just how the experience from last year in San Diego against West Virginia has prepared you perhaps uh, for the matchup tomorrow against Marquette? Shaq first, then Ja. Uh, I'll say um, last year uh, it was our first time, so guys were happy to be there. But this year with me and Ja and Brian, uh, we have a focus that we can go far in this tournament. We got the team to do it, and I have all the confidence in my team that we can do it, and we're going to see how it goes Thursday. John, any thoughts? Um, like he said, um, our first year coming here, we was a little excited. i say um, probably a little nervous and this being our second year, we're a little more comfortable and um, ready to lead this team to go deep in the tournament. Back on the left, Mike. Uh, Mike Anthony, Hartford Current for Jaw. Um, I understand you're from the same hometown as Ray Allen, and I read that your father was actually a high school teammate of his. Um, wonder if that's actually the case, and if, if you've gotten to know Ray at all, if he's been a sounding board or played any role in your, in your life at all. Um. <laughs> I really haven't uh, spoke to Ray as much. Um, him and my dad and my uncle are still close. Um, so um, I get the chance. I've spoke with his mom a little bit. But other than that, I really haven't. We do have time for more questions for the student athletes from Murray State. If there are any more questions, raise your hand. Let's go to the back. We'll use the right-hand side microphone and Ralph. Ja, one more about... Um the camp with Marcus, you said he was one of the first guys you talked to. Was it somebody, you, did you seek him out 
or did you know of him at all beforehand, or was it just a coincidence that he was one of the first guys you you connected with there? I think it was just a coincidence. We just happened to sit at the same table and um, just got to know each other, and he told me that he played at Marquette, and um, after that, we was just talking throughout the camp, and now we play against each other tomorrow, so. Oh, uh, yeah, we do stay in touch. Any more questions for the racer student athletes? We do have a minute or two left. Oh, uh, we have one all the way to the back on the right side. John Steppy, Mark at Wire. Ja, was there any interaction between you and Marcus leading up to this game? Um, I said we spoke a little bit last night, um, just saying how it's crazy that we was we met at the Chris Paul camp and. Um, now both, um, obviously our names are out there and now we get to play against each other. Any further questions for the Murray State athletes? All right, John, and Shaq, we want to thank you guys. They're going to head back to the locker room and join their teammates. It's still open for another 20 minutes or so. And we'll be joined down here in the main interview room shortly by Murray State head coach, Matt McMahon. Thanks, fellas. Thank you.